Hi, I'm here with Lady Saints head basketball coach Will Marchinell. Team is coming off a big win against Pratt in the opening round of the Region 6 playoffs, but business is not done. They're heading over to Butler on Tuesday at 5.30 to continue its quest for a Region 6 tournament title. Coach, it's not a lot of time from Saturday to Tuesday. You're, yeah, I'm sure you haven't gotten a lot of sleep. Usually you probably get a day off. Yesterday I'm sure you were working. Today you, the girls will be working as well. What's going on? Yeah, we just, you know, Phil, we, we did practice yesterday. Um, just tried to make sure that we stayed in tune and ready to go for Tuesday's contest against Butler. Really, really good team. Coach Helmer does a terrific job with his group, 23-7, um, and seven, and they obviously were one of the top four teams in the region, so they got a bye mm -hmm. in the first round of the, the tournament. So we're heading over to El Dorado tomorrow. Um, super excited for the opportunity. And, uh, you know, our ladies have earned it. Our team has done a terrific job this year um, battling through some stuff. And, and you know, some, some games haven't always gone our way, but uh, especially w Saturday night, I thought our team did a great job of making sure that they put themselves in a position to have a chance to win the game late. And talk a little bit about the game again. It sort of seemed formality for, uh, from Wednesday to Saturday. Although you guys weren't down double digits throughout, it was actually really close going in. And then at the very end, it was sort of the same thing. KP hits a big three, and then you got Ali Myers putting in the Bucks to go ahead. And then you guys clean up with Cleet with uh, key free throws at the end from Zoe Rosales and Jamia Carter. And so and that was just the formula for wins. Yeah. Um, just talk a little bit about that game real quick. Yeah, um, you know, I thought our team fought really, really hard. Like you said, it wasn't a, a situation like we were down 14 at half against them um, on Wednesday of last week. Mm -hmm. We, we kind of tried to um, keep it a little bit closer in the first half, did a nice job, um, made some really key adjustments on some things that they had put in or installed since we played them on, on Wednesday. And, uh, you know, uh, beating a team on Wednesday and then turn around beating them again on Saturday is really tough to do. Mm -hmm. Kind of try to figure out what these uh, seven-game series are, are like in the NBA. <laughs> um, but it's, uh, it, it was a, a really great atmosphere inside the greenhouse on Saturday. I can't thank our administration enough, President Bennett, um, our athletic director, Dan Artemenko, and, and Preston Caldwell, and, and even our uh, VPSA, David Hardiman, for putting the, the event on Saturday. They did a great job with the cookout, um, the bounce house on the top uh, in the bleachers of the greenhouse and, and all the fans that came out not only to support our team but to support our men's team too right. um, as they as they took on Garden City up, at, up in Garden City about a couple hours before we took um, the court in the greenhouse. So really cool atmosphere, really cool way to tie in both games. I thought that was a lot of fun and I thought our administration knocked it out of the ballpark so to speak um, in putting that event on. Okay, now let's talk about Butler um, a little bit. Role reversal here against Pratt. You know, you guys had beaten Pratt twice. In this case, you guys lost to um, Butler twice. And we're talking about, you know, going and trying to beat him again. Talk a little bit about, about what challenges you face and possibly, um, you know, attacking schemes against them. Yeah, I mean, um, I, think, I think for us it's, you know, they, they kind of got after us at their place. Um, earlier in the year and, and we turned the ball over far too many times, which we did a lot better job of in, in the second semester when we played them most recently. Still didn't hit enough shots, ended up losing the game by 13, um, but we only had 16 turnovers. I'd like to see that number somewhere between 12 and 16 again mm -hmm. tomorrow. I think it'll give us a chance to um, be able to operate and play for the win mm -hmm. um, if we're able to take care of the basketball. Yeah. Um, but, you know, Butler's so good on the on the glass. They mm -hmm. rebound the ball. They're so aggressive. Uh, they, they do a really good job of trying to speed you up when you have the ball in your hands. Mm -hmm. And so for us, it's about staying disciplined, understanding, um, you know, what we're trying to accomplish when we break their press. Mm -hmm. And then um, do we have a scoring opportunity or not, and not just assuming that we can go score it at the rim against them every single time. Right. So, um, you know, but Butler's a great team. It's, they're, they're, you know, one of the top four teams and probably the best league in the country. Mm -hmm. And so for us, 
Um, we've got to be really, really disciplined. We've got to understand what's a good shot, what's a bad shot. And then, um, much like we did against Pratt, really focus on playing 10 minutes at a time right. and trying to win the next 10 minutes. And so um, I'm excited to see what we can put together um, in El Dorado. Mm -hmm. uh, we know the task is tall. We know that Butler's a very good team. But we're going to try to do our very best um, here tomorrow to – to be competitive and come out with a win. No one ever talks about this a lot. I mean, well, people talk about this a lot, but going in, pressure's off of you guys kind of, you know, necessarily, not necessarily, and I know coaches hate to sort of say that, but I mean, like, you know, expectations, you know, you're a top four. You have a chance, no doubt about it, but I don't think that people go, expect you to win. I, I, you expect them to win, and I think that we expect them to But at the same time, too, you know, go, going over there. Is there a little bit less pressure on your team going in for that? What do you think? Um, you know, probably, mm -hmm. um, I hope that our team feels less pressure. Mm -hmm. Um, but I, but you know, anytime you're able to play for a trip to the final four in your own region, sure. I think, I think there's a little something to that, mm -hmm. uh, especially with a group that hasn't done that before. Butler's right. done that before they've been there. So, um, you know, ho hopefully, <coughs> hopefully there's less pressure, Phil. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, it, it's about managing it, I right. think, from our standpoint, our coaching staff standpoint. It's about managing that mm -hmm. pressure and then being able to, to get our team to um, settle into a little bit of a comfort zone, if we can, um, as early as possible. Well, and the team has grown a lot over that. I think they've handled the pressure if it comes to them. And, boy, if they're loose going in and there's no pressure on them, you expect better things from this squad. I think that well, we've talked about and you talked about, about growth. Yeah. And this team has sort of grown out over there. Like I talked about Pratt, down most of both games out over there and didn't give up and knew that almost that we can we can do this. And, yeah. And, and I don't think that... As we've saw, this is a team that doesn't give up and has really ha is kind of cohesive. Yeah, hundred percent. And I think that you know our team has done a, a terrific job staying together mm -hmm. um, throughout the course of the year. Obviously, I've I've said it multiple times with you, and and with other media outlets. Like I, I you know obviously the win loss <coughs> record isn't exactly what we wanted. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, but. Um, our team's learned from from our defeats, mm -hmm. and they've come back and really competed as hard as they can. And so for that, I'm grateful, mm -hmm. um, and, and I know our, our coaching staff's grateful for that too. So right. it just comes down to, you know, um, having confidence in our game plan, making sure that we're ready to, to go in and take on a really, really good Butler team tomorrow. And, and so we've got a couple hours of practice here right. pretty soon where we're going to try to go do that. And if you can't go to the game up to Power Plan and Butler, you can actually watch the game on SewardSaints.com or listen to it at B1075. And before I go, I wish you good luck, Coach. Turn around, Dad. If I noticed that poster out over there, talk about it. Yeah, Michael Jordan? Michael Jordan. Yeah, it says we all fly. Once you leave the ground, you fly. Some people fly longer than others. So a uh, little ins inspirational poster that I really, really like. Um, and, and I think our, our team has, has enjoyed that as well, too. And so we're going to keep trying to fly um, for as long as we can. Uh, and, and, you know, that includes a trip to El Dorado tomorrow. And, and we're going to, um, you know, we're going we're gonna to put it all out there and see where, where, uh, where we sit after 40 minutes. All right. Good luck, Coach, tomorrow. Thanks, Phil. I appreciate you.